Hey guys, I'm back with another video with caddy port forwarding via router. So let's get started. So if you have watched my previous caddy video, please go watch it. And this is a way where you can actually port forward via ngrock. That is an easy and clean way rather than using a third party DNS. So let's get started. So this is the no IP. This is the no IP and here you get a free DNS with a subdomain. Like you can map it to your local port. So once you create an account with a no IP, you need to create add a host name and select your domain. Once you done with that, you need to add your public IP address over here so it can map the whatever local port you want to expose. So once you are done with that, you get something like this, like your host name gets created for your account and here's your public IP. And once this is done, so I have also have an alternative that is I have already have a domain over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an A record for my public IP address. Oh, sorry. Before this. So since most of the routers will be something like dynamic, so the IP address keeps changing. So what you can do is you can download this dynamic DNS update client. But what it does is it actually updates your no IP. Like whenever the IP changes, it automatically updates your IP with this software. So this is one good thing about this and whenever my IP changes over here so it automatically updates it over here you need not go manually change things so this is it about this dynamic update client so once this is done I'm gonna go back to my cPanel for this domain I'm gonna add a, a record remember a record I'm gonna say at so I'm gonna map this address 172191766. Okay. So I need to add a 400 time to life seconds. I mean it's a like milliseconds. So once I have added the record, sorry if I'm wrong about this. So once you have added this, you get it over here. So the next step is so remember this, you need to use this host name in your caddy config and here you need to use your domain name, especially this domain name in your caddy. So here I have already created a caddy file. So if you want to know more about this, this is in my previous video, please go watch it. And this is the host name and this is the second host name and this is the local server which I'm gonna start. This is the node server. I'm gonna say node server.jsx. Okay, server is started. There are two things over here, two host names. Once it's done, save it. So once it is done, save it. And next thing is you need to go to your router settings. I'm gonna go with the security and port forwarding since I don't have anything over here I need to create a new one with your IP address mm, I'm gonna choose 443 first and apply so I'm gonna add one more thing in case my SSL doesn't work I'm gonna expose the HTTP port 80 So you get this IP via settings, that is your router settings. You get this IPv4 address. Okay, once it is done, um, what do I do next? I have to run the server. So I have started the node server and I'm gonna say caddy start. So you might get an error where it says could not get certificate. It's a bit to the zero SSL thing. Okay, once this is done. 
So I have already added my shit. Let's go back. So I'm gonna go for security port forwarding done. Okay, this is exposed and you need to actually expose your 443 is an SSL one and 80 is a non SSL that is the HTTP. Okay, once this is done, let me go back to the browser and run this. So cool. This is actually running. So it says SSL protocol error since it's still not mapped towards it. That is why it's showing an SSL protocol error, but it's actually mapped towards it. Oh, the IP address could not found it. It changed. Oh shit, um, and it got disconnected. Just a second. So my Wi Fi got disconnected. So that is why this got ended it over here. So I'm gonna refresh. I got a new IP now. So let's go back and check. So this should actually be updated now to the new IP address. So this got actually updated. So now I should also change this so i have already updated it sorry about my net got disconnected so once this is done i'm gonna go back to my browser again if i say is uh, is an ssl error so let's try with another domain oh it's working but still i am facing an ssl issue but this is actually exposed now so from my local i'm gonna say four. i got the message for i'm gonna say bar for the message bar so it's actually working and there's some issue with the server as ssl so let's stop the server in case if you think it's not so once i have stopped the server this actually won't run if you see that it's taking time so this actually is running but foo it's not actually running it's not going through the route endpoint i'm gonna run the server again this is actually my local computer if i say tada it's working this is how you port forward so you might face some errors over here because of the SSL thing but so there's a lot of error over here it says no connection blah 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 so this actually this domain is actually having some issues so most of the TP link routers usually give you an uh, like uh, direct login to your no IP. They have pre-configured uh, login system for this. So you can try with that. So since I stopped my server, this should actually stop. So this is also stopped. And let me restart it once. it should run now it is up and running it's actually good to use an ng rock or your personal domain rather than going with your third party dns this actually cost you xyz domain actually cost you less money like a hundred two hundred bucks that's it guys and that's it about this video if you have any questions, please post in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Peace out.